we in a previous video looked at using the my content folder and finding images from other places or from the gallery and putting them organizing them into my content so in this lesson we're going to actually look at how you can save a page that you've created into the my content folder this is how I did my lunch count and attendance so I had a page here with choice one was blue, choice two was yellow, and then I had these uh, rectangles and then the names. So I'm going to build this here. These are infinite cloners. So I'm going to pretend like I'm making this for my class. So I'll say here I need a white one, and then I'm going to take the name. Now I can edit the name, and then I need an orange one. And when I did this, I had the three different colors and the three columns. That way they knew what color their name would be. Um, and it was the same the whole year. By the way, also when I do this, I'm going to select, drag around both of them to get them both selected. Then I'm going to group them. And then I'm going to lock and allow move. So now this one can be selected, it can be moved, but if you notice while it's selected it cannot be deleted there. Double click to edit, drag around both to select them both, group them, now I'm using a Mac so the command G is the shortcut for group. If you're using a PC, it's control G. When I'm doing something like this, where I'm going to be doing it over and over, it's a great time to learn those shortcuts because they are shortcuts. You don't have to go through, go through the menu all the time. And if I'm going to be repeating it over and over, like in this case, I'm going to learn it. That's going to help me learn it, the repetition. So group, command G, and then the same for the locking, allow move. So on the Mac here, it's shift, command, V. Uh, there may or may not be one on the PC. I do not think so. Actually, there is, but I can't remember what it is. So then I need my green one and my name. Now this is a template file that I already had, that's why these are infinitely cloned. Um, but even if I had just created them, that's what I would do. I would create the little boxes, infinitely clone them, so then I can just drag them out as I need to. So now to select these, I'm going to drag around both of these. They're both selected, I can see the two drop downs. so on my Mac, Command G. And notice it's still selected, so shift command V. And so now it is locked, but allow move. All right, so now that I have this page, this is going to be something that I'm going to want to use every day. And I want a clean copy of it every day. All right, so once I have my page set up exactly how I want it, right, and obviously if I was done, I would select this, turn off the infinite cloner, and then I could delete that box. Same thing with all of these. Unfortunately, you can't select more than one when they are infinitely cloned. So now I have this page. It's all set up. It's my template. It's the one that I'm going to use every day. A clean copy of it. So how do I put it into my gallery? I'm going to open up my gallery tab, and if you remember from, I'm going to turn off the auto hide here so it doesn't keep disappearing. If you remember from the My Content video, I always plan ahead and think where am I going to put it because it's a lot easier to have those folders created ahead of time and put them directly into that folder than to try to organize and create the folders later. So. Right, if I was going to do that, go to the drop down menu, new folder, and I'll call this 2012 lunch. Now that I have this page, how do I get it in there? From your page sorter, 
tab. The page that's selected, you have a drop down menu there. And then add page to gallery. So since that folder was already selected, that's where it jumped into. So there it is. So I just double click that, call it lunch 2012. So now every morning I can open up a brand new notebook file. I can come into my content, go to my lunch 2012 folder. I can drag this page over and now I have a clean copy of this page ready to go every morning. Kids move their names, do what they need to do. For this particular page, I would then save this file to my desktop. So then when I needed to open it up to see who had the blue and the green later when we got our tickets, then I could just open it up from the desktop and we could see it. So that's saving a page to a gallery. Any page that you set up that you want it to be a template, something that you're going to use every day over and over again, or just a page that you like the setup that you're going to use over and over again, that's a great way of doing it. Save the page to your gallery. Now you can also do the same thing with a file. Maybe you've created a notebook file already with several pages. Notice this saved one page. But what if you have a several page notebook file that you want to add? so you can access it by dragging it out of the gallery every time. That's very easy to do as well. So I'll click on the My Content folder, create a new folder called Pre-Made Tables. So I have that on my desktop. So I'm going to open up here, go to my desktop. There's the file. It's a notebook file. I'm going to drag that here into my Pre-Made Tables folder or I could just put it down here in this area since that's what's showing in the folder drop it and notebook files and pages I have one and you'll notice what's different with this one is it kinda looks like a binder because it's several pages but works the same way I can just drag it out so now instead of adding just one page to my file go to the page sorter you'll see that I've added one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven a lot of pages so yes I started with this file and that was the point was just to show you that you can add multiple page files as well whole lesson files you can add those to your gallery but if you find something like this, because you'll find pages or you'll download pages like this from other places, and the individual graphics or the things that are on the pages you want to put into your gallery, well, you can go ahead and drag those off and do that. So this has been a Spurgvug special edition about adding pages or adding files to your gallery. But you can join us for our monthly Spurgvug meetings somewhere around the first of the month. And you can find more information about that at smartboardrevolution.ning.com. It has the schedule for the next upcoming meeting. It also has links to the previous meetings and the recordings. So you can go back and see what you've been missing and learn some new things that way. Thanks for joining us. This has been your host, Matt Granger, for the Smart Survival Guides.